I am Sensei João Paulo and this week I present to you another video where I present some commentaries about techniques studied in our school. This week I present results about my researches in concert the concept of Swari Nugiko that is a concept studied in all arts inside our school. This commentary was concerned about an article present by Shidoshi Jordan Augusto in our site, in our medias, that brings some interesting aspects about the Swari Nugiko in different perspectives for there that like the key concepts and the Harage studies. This article present some important aspects about the ki and harage inside the suari nugiko techniques. In general, the techniques applied in suari sitting in one or the other way require a deeper knowledge about the correct use of the ki energy. The hara, in turn, when triggered in this position, acts entirely focused on the upper body receiving the two flows of yin and yang energy. When we talk about the water element, that means nagare, flow, allow the energy to flow, follow its natural curves. For this to occur, the body, in this case the receptor, must be completely relaxed. If we look through the description and anatomical classification, Chinese culture has extensive nomenclature describing the various parts, regions, organs, and body system where the principles of yin yang are applied, both referencing the ways functions. For example, the ki circulates through the meridians into a rhythm, established by the transformation of yin and yang successively. Yin is the right side of the body front, ventral, palmar part, inside the body, lower members, torso, full, solid, organs, and zen meridians, liver, heart, kidney, lung, spleen, pancreas, recadion, yang, left side, back, dorsal, volar part, outside, upper limbs, head, hollow, empty, light, organs, meridians, food, small intestine, thick intestine, stomach, bladder, gallbladder, biliar, triple, header, sun jaw, brains, uterus. When the body is relaxed, the energies that are deposited on the top of the body flow and allow the circle to be activated and at the space between the belt and the head, isolating the lower body to be seated. When Tori stands up, taking the buttocks heels is allows power to flow to the knee extension and the column that is the key energy conductive body establish the vertical line with two outlets. When this occurs, the key that was previously restricted irrigates the previous isolated region, providing the revival of stagnant energy inhibit and stimulate the ends of our body provides, in the case of practices suari, the actual flow of ki expanding and not through the energy flowing in adequate form. There is a gulf of difference between these two forms. When uke holds the two arms of the ri in at rest, the energy stagnant encourage the energy high, stimulating the muscle tone of the upper limbs. When to remove this energy becomes strong and vigorous, in the case just water element where only the flow should be mandatory. The feature to directory to use is constant, that is, once the energy initiated, this should not stop. Flow is not to establish stop. Continue. Since some part of our body is contracted, this will stagnate the flow of the key in water element. We can say that river full of leaves and trunks does not have a natural and continuous flow. The same applies to the practice of this element in Suari no Giko. The concept of water, the dialect established between Tori and Ke, begins with the reception, become receptive. A certain master once defined the Suari no Giko as a tremble of creation 
that has six children in this union, Yin, Uke, and Yang Tori, when together established the third energy that is the vertex of the triangle. Uke is strong, Tori is malleable. The three children are the three phases of the movement start, danger, and rest. The three daughters are the three stages of devotion smooth, penetration, clarity, and tranquility. So, I wish that you liked this video and please send to us another themes, another issues that can be explored in another videos, in future videos in our school. Stay well and bye bye!